All right, back on the beer review, and today I'll be doing yet another comparison review. This time of two beers from the Green Cheek Beer Company, and they are headquartered in Orange, California. And we have Pet the Tiger and Don't Pet the Tiger, and both of these are the 2024 release. So Pet the Tiger is a California IPA that comes in at 7.2% alcohol by volume and no IBUs listed, while Don't Pet the Tiger is a California triple IPA that comes in at 10.3% alcohol by volume and no IBUs listed. In time of review, both of these beers are just over one month old. I'm going to give a huge thanks shout out once again to a friend of mine and fellow beer tuber, Joe Senegali, for both of these beers. So huge thanks to him in the description box. I'll post a link to both the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies Joe sent my way along with a link to his channel. Now I've been saying this in all the reviews uh, that of beers that Joe sent my way. Um, he has a fantastic channel and if you're not subbed to him please go over there check out his channel and I think you'll like his content. Give him a sub. Tell him the beer patrol sent you or don't. He might he might block you. I don't know. Maybe Joe. Anyway, uh, so he sent me a surprise beer mail that included 12 different beers, nine of which were unique. And he sent me a couple of green chic beers. But when I was going through the box, I was like, these obviously look quite similar, you know, different color scheme, but pet the tiger, don't pet the tiger. Do I do a side by side? Well, nowadays I don't do a lot of side by sides for health reasons. 7.2, 10.3. Should I? It's got to be done for science because we have to at some point. Cuvée them. AK, we got to do with our coffee. So we're going to do a cuvée at the end of these two beers. But I also want to just see which one I prefer. Now, they're not exactly the same. They're both featuring mosaic hops, right? But Pet the Tiger is obviously a single uh, California IPA, West Coast IPA. And it um, also has, uh, it's brewed with uh, HBC 1019 hops. While the triple version uh, again, both of them feature mosaic, but this one also has a Nelson, HPC 586, and Citrus. So slight differences. I just want to know which one will I prefer. So we're going to pour them both up here, crack them open, and see what we got going on here. So California IPA, they just, they're basically West Coast IPAs, okay? That's what they are. So we'll give this one a pour right here. And I'm not going to, you know, I want to save some for the cuvee because I have another glass here. So we'll do something like this. We'll do like that. I'm going to obviously drink both of them today because there's no recapping them because of the cans, right? Oh, I just, oh, a little bit of an explosion, but that could have been just a hard opening there. All right, about the same. I'd say very, very similar, right? So we're going to take both of these. And I'm going to, you know, the, the labels are very similar. There's fucking shit everywhere. You know, I shouldn't care, but I just, I don't like being messy with shit everywhere on camera. So, you know, I'm going to wipe these down. Put them on my coasters that are supposed to absorb the liquid, but I'm an idiot and I just like them for showcasing. But, you know, the, see, this pet tire looks very friendly and whatnot, right? But I like putting it where the name is more prominent. So we're going to put it something like that. And then this tiger, don't pet him. He's pissed off. Do not pet this tiger. So, uh, and you know what, just for, just for thumbnail purposes, right? We'll do something like this. Don't pet the tiger. Okay. Is that correct? I don't know. Is that all right? Is that going to be cool for the, or do I have to get it where uh, the name is out there, right? The two names like this. We're going to do something like this. I don't know. I'm sure my thumbnails are absolute trash and I don't give a shit, but I like doing stuff like this once in a while. So I don't know. We'll see if the thumbnails are good enough. If not, eh, fuck me, whatever. Stupid. The channel sucks anyway. Anyway, throwing this over here like that. All right. So how do these both look? Well, we'll hold them up to the camera here and I would say they both look very fucking similar. Let me hold it up to the light. There is no difference between these two outside of the head of the the uh, just regular one looking a uh, bit more frothy and uh, you know nice. Let me see if I can swirl up a head to kind of see if they look similar if I can do that. Nope, the head's not, eh, it's getting there. So yeah, I mean these both look really nice. This has like a cap on it. So yeah, this is like a, a nice yeah, yellow golden color, uh, maybe a little bit of deeper orange in there. Uh, clarity is true to roof because this is clear beer. The head is like a bright white. Um, this has about a half finger. This is a full finger uh, soap sudsy looking head. This has more of a cap though, looking like almost like uh, like hot chocolate or something on it. But yeah, decent carbonation, looks fine. Uh, we'll go for the base first and see what we got going on here. What the fuck? I can't think off the top of my head if I've ever had HBC 
uh, 1019. I probably have maybe in a beer or two here. This is going to sound weird. I'm getting a little bit of coconut. <laughs> like a little bit of, like almost pina colada vibes. Very tropical. Very tropical in the nose. Pina colada. Maybe a little bit like passion fruit. Lychee. Guava. Like that. those types of like tropical fruits that I don't say a ton. Especially guava and lychee. There's a bit of like a... Uh, like a blueberry in here as well. Probably from the mosaic. Nice dankness. There's an earthy kind of... I'm almost getting that, that diesel vibe that... Bud, uh, a good friend of mine, a viewer of the channel of both Joe and my on my channel, um, he gets a lot of diesel with Nelson. Well, this doesn't have Nelson. I'm getting a little diesel. Yeah, it, it's really nice. There's almost a, like a, a piney thing going on, but not too big. That smells different, but really delectable. Like, ooh, I can't wait to drink that one. All right, let's get a nose on this. Wow, completely different. Oh, my God. This smells like straight up fucking blueberry can like, like a blueberry. I don't think they make Starburst, but picture like a, a blueberry candy that you would make, or like a blueberry like bubble gum, like that type of like sweeter blueberry. And it's very dank. More of like a stone fruit vibe to this one, mango, maybe even like a papaya kind of tinge to this. Underlying citrus, where that didn't have much citrus, this has a little bit of citrus. I'd say like orange for sure, tangerine. It's that that's a wild difference. Very the contrast is actually way bigger than I assumed. This smells brighter. This smells heavier. It, there's a difference of 3.1%, so that makes sense. That's just wild with that tropical fruit. That fucking can like I, this is old school mosaic. This beer right here. This is like again candied blueberry. I think I, I like, damn, which one do I prefer? I don't know. They're, I don't know. They're both awesome. Um, this smells sweeter, more candy-like, more of that mosaic shining. This is super tropical. Both of them have like this dankness. This is more like earthy and like a little resinous pine. This is just more like straight dank. They both smell very mouth-watering because my mouth is watering. I want to get into it. So cheers, everybody. Thanks again to Joe. We'll see what Pet the Tiger has to offer. I don't know, again, what HBC 1019 brings to the table. This is pina colada. This is pineapple. And not a toes of coconut, but like a fresh coconut. <sighs> Body is like medium, maybe a touch over. Mouthfeel very crisp. Very clean on the palate. Very spritzy. Um, very ex extremely smooth, too, going down. I... Don't use too strong of a word here, Joe, but dare I say I might love this beer. And that, you know, a lot of times when I break down beers, I say, oh, front of the palate, mid palate, back of the palate, blah, blah, blah. Pina colada vibes. Just, if you don't like pina colada, I can't say you're not going to like this beer because you might taste something completely different. I'm getting pina colada. It's pineapples, it's coconut, front to back. There's a nice citrus blast at the beginning, which is more like a tangerine, dare I say tangelo, um, but it's not like overly sweet. Midway through the palates where I'm getting that tropical fruit that's, you know, outside of the realm of a pina colada, like it's more of that lychee, guava, passion fruit kind of feeling. There's an underlying slight ready malt sensation. Back of the palate, dank. A little bit of like a, a, that blueberry that I was getting on the nose there, like that candy blueberry, but very minute compared to that in the nose anyway. And it finishes, this is bone dry with a mild to moderate bitterness. I'd like to see a little bit more bitterness, a little less dryness here. But this is very well balanced because that dryness is substantial where the bitterness isn't as substantial, but it's okay. I would like to see it like more like semi to full on dry with a moderate bitterness as opposed to a full on dryness with a mild to moderate bitterness. But that's just, you know, again, personal preference. This is an, I don't say everyday drinker, but for 7.2%. This is this is a West Coast or a California IPA that I would love to have in my fridge and just drink on it because this is fucking this is this is what I like. This is what I like right here. One more sip and then 
very clean on palate, 7.2%, you can't tell. I'm gonna cleanse my palate and go in for the Don't Pet the Tiger, but that's gonna be hard to beat. I'm sorry, Don't Pet the Tiger, triple I, uh, triple, I was gonna say triple IP, triple California IP. Yeah. All right, the palate says somewhat cleanse. Cheers again, Joe. Um, this is a cool thing, but if this, I can, listen, the, the glass is right here, and we get wafts of blueberry candy. So I don't know, baby, I'm gonna like this more. I don't know, cheers. That blueberry candy thing is fucking wild. These are, like, despite the names, despite being called a California and Triple California IP, you know, despite them featuring Mosaic, these are two completely different beers in the best way possible. This is Mosaic through and through, old school Mosaic. So body on this one, Much like this is a bit thin for 10.3. 10.3. This is like higher side of medium, lower side of full. Um, but again, I, I don't know how many times I, I mentioned in every review because not everybody watched every review. So you don't know how I feel about triple IPA bodies and mouthfeels. But bodies, I'll just say this. When it comes to bigger ABV to hop forward beers, I'm okay with them being thin because I think it enhances the, the drinkability. They don't need to be thick and syrupy like if you were drinking a 10.3% Imperial Stout or like a barley wine or something, right? I want those to be, you know, kind of thick because it, it enhances the experience of that style specifically where in hop forward beers, there's two things I want. I don't want a super thick syrupy body and I don't want them to be overly boozy. Those are instant turnoffs for these beers. This has neither because this is not boozy in the least and the body I think is right in my wheelhouse. The mouthfeel, a little bit softer than this, a little bit creamier, a little bit smoother. So prefer, I think, the body and mouthfeel in this, this beer to the uh, Pet the Tiger. All right, taste. Much like this, front to back, dank blueberry. Dank candied blueberry. Like, it is just all over the palate. There's this dank, like, marijuana-esque kind of dankness even further to like, like almost a green kind of like, I've heard Joe say this before, but like tomato stock, same thing with Matt over at Massive Beer Review, shout out to Matt. Um, like that tomato stock, tomato vine kind of like green kind of like just earthy to me. Like I, is dank the right word? Probably not, but just like that different kind of character. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting front to back, but then candied blueberry. So candied blueberry, blueberry pez, um, blueberry kind of like a, a soft chew candy or something in that realm. Right? I wouldn't even say blueberry yogurt because that's more like in the sour realm, but like just a candy blueberry. Underlying, you know, bready malt character, a little bit of honey malt. There's also citrus at the front of the palate that's that's like more of a zesty kind of orange, maybe uh, like I said, that tangelo. Um, halfway through the palate, I do get a touch of like a apricot or a, um, a peach. And then on the back of the palate, that dankness kind of ramps up a, li a little bit. And I'm almost getting, again, there's Nelson in here and I'm not getting like that white grape, white wine thing, but I'm getting that little like earthy funkiness you get sometimes without Nelson, or at least I do. Um, this one finishes bone dry with a mild bitterness. This beer right here, I find way, way more, um, I should say way more bitter, but definitely more bitter, but both of them are definitely full on dry. Like my tongue is, there's no saliva left on my tongue as I'm speaking to you right now. I feel like a cat, like I could, you know, the sandpaper cat tongue where like I could probably just like actually hurt you with my tongue. Hopefully people aren't watching this long because what I just said, ignore me. Hurt you with my tongue. What the fuck? Certainly not speaking because I have no grasp of the English language. Damn, both of these are fucking, wow. I don't, I don't know how to rate either of these. Like, I don't want to compare them at this point, even though I'm doing a comparison review, because they're vastly different beers based on what I'm drinking. I'm going to go, I'm not going to cleanse the palate because whatever. Just let me go back. This is fucking, this is, listen, this right here, I don't, I have to look up when HBC uh, 1019 brings the table. This is 100% pina colada vibe. Like there's coconut, there's pineapple, this is pina colada, this is fucking, this beer right here was made for me, even though it wasn't. Like this is my jam for like, and, and again, it has that West Coast kind of vibe. There's a little bit of resinous pine. There's that earthy kind of dang thing. It's um, full on dry with a mild amount of bitterness. Like it's fucking clear beer. 
but with pina colada, like a new school West Coast, right? This, on the other hand, a fucking dang candied blueberry from front to back, a little bit of citrus, a little bit of stone fruit. Um, again, this is a bit sweeter, which you expect. It's, it's a triple IPA compared to a single, but this isn't cloying or anything. It's just both of them are very dry with mild to moderate bitternesses, uh, bitternesses, bitterness. Um, yeah, anyway, let's rate them individually and then I'm going to do a cuvee because that's what we do here. So uh, don't pet the tiger or sorry, pet the tiger, the 2024 release. And I only say it's a 2024 release because it seems like they released these before. But on their Instagram page, they specifically say pet the tiger 24 and don't pet the tiger 24. So I, they're saying it's the 2024 release. That's, that's the only reason I say it. But this beer right here. I'm going to give this a, um, fuck, I don't, I don't really know. Low four. <sighs> Do ratings matter? No. And Joe and I have had this conversation about how untapped. I love untapped. Listen, let's fuck, whatever. It's a 25-minute review. Does anyone give a shit? No. If you've watched this far, whatever. I, this is where I say post something. and Just post pina colada in the fucking comment section. I don't know. A lot of you will be like, fuck you. I'm not doing that. All right, I get it. Ray, I prayed. Um. Untapped is one of those things where I think it's a great, I, I think Untapped is a great app at the same time being an absolutely horrible app. I, I love being able to, you know, check check out what my friends are drinking. You know, there's a lot of beers that I I've, have never heard of or maybe I uh, didn't even realize got released that I'll see my friends drinking me, you know, it's a nice reminder. It's cool to be able to keep track of what you're drinking because, you know, I'm old, I forget. But the ratings on that fucking app and how people rate stuff is just, it's... Like, you know, typically if it's like a lager, it's under a four guaranteed and certain beers like clear beers and old school American IPAs instantly pfft, it's from a hype brewery or something. But um, I don't even know where I was going with that rant. All I know is this. I don't know how to rate this other than I think this is a beer that I love. I love that pina colada. It, it does definitely has like as I'm sitting here, it has like a, a mild to moderate, like kind of lingering bitterness. You know, fuck it. I'm going to give this a low 475. I'm going 4.7. Yeah, I just said that. Whatever. Who cares? Again, oh, that's what it comes back to. So, you know, you'll remember three minutes later. Ratings don't matter. They don't, right? I'm sure a lot of you like when I rate beer, and I also like to rate beer, but my 4.7 might be your 3.7. So it is what it is, but that's a fucking delicious beer. Meanwhile, this, this is also fucking delicious. I don't think I like this as much as that, only because I think it hides the alcohol extremely well. 10.5%, a little bit of warming in my chest, nothing else, but... I, I, that's just my jam. Again, that's a personal preference, but I like the dank blueberry. I like the candy blueberry. I'm going to give this a high four or five and go 4.6. So not far off, 4.7, 4.6, but this is a little bit, I think, less in my wheelhouse than that. And uh, just for whatever reason. So anyway, whatever. This is going to be like a 25 minute review and uh, that's what you expect from me. So we got the Mortalis glass here, but that's because it's, I got two of these glasses. Actually, I have four. I got to find the other two. Uh, it's the exact same glass. So what I'm going to do here is let's make sure, I think this is, It's about the same. So we're going to pour this in here like that. One. Two. Maybe break the glasses. And then I have to dip into the others two that I don't even know where they are. So let me take a little bit of hit of this, uh, this water. All right. So how does beer look? Well, since they look the same, it looks the fucking same. Let's, we're not even doing the... It looks the same, okay? It looks the fucking same. A lot of that candy, dank blueberry, but also pina colada. I don't even know if that's the thing I'd want. If someone told you you're going to get pina colada with a candy blueberry, you smash them together, would you like that? I don't know. If, I feel like you would have to be like, I forget what like kind of candies are in like runs. But let's say runs had like grape, pineapple, and coconut. And I know they don't. But let's say they did. And, they, and you took a handful of those candied wise. Would that be something you're down with? I would. And let me tell you, this aroma is fucking immaculate, but does it make any sense? It makes zero sense. I don't know. That's pretty much what I'm getting. Dank blueberry with pina colada. Let's get into it. It just took the dank blueberry, married it with the pina colada, put it in my fucking glass, and I love this. This, this Kobe, Kobe. Shout out to Don't Drink Beer. This is scary drinkable. So you mix them together, right? And now your ABV, instead of being 10.3 or 7.5, is more in that, like, 
what is it? Would it be at that point? Because you're at 17 and a half. You're more in that, like, you know, higher eight round. I think I'd rather drink the Goofy. And I just gave these substantially high scores. 475 for the Cuvée. Um, it just melds the best of both worlds. I just can't believe this is 10.3%. But I also can't believe this is 72 because this is, dare I say, bombastic. Shout out to Paul over at P. Brews. Um, this is very intense for 72 but this is also a little bit more subdued at 103 but in a great way. I don't know. I, I've i never seen anybody review these on um, YouTube. I, I don't know if Joe... I. As I'm doing this review, Joe has not reviewed these two this year. Maybe he's reviewed them in the past and I just haven't seen the videos. Uh, I don't know what these get on untapped. I don't know what other people think about them. I just think that if Green Sheet showed up 15 minutes from my house, Joe, um, it'd, be, it'd be very scary for me. I know Joe spent his birthday weekend at Green Sheet and uh, enjoyed himself. And if like beers are like this are the norm, like I would also spend entire weekends at Green Sheet. Spend way too much. Um, love every single beer and then regret it only because like I shouldn't be drinking as much beer <laughs> as they're kicking out. This was a absolute treat to do a side by side, even though they are vastly different beers, despite the names, despite being called California IPA and triple IPA. And, uh, thank you, Joe, um, from the bottom of my fucked up non hundred percent functional heart that you were able to, uh, you know, send me cool ass, like, the fact that you surprised me with a beer mail is just absurd. Like, I never thought, you know, I didn't expect anything. Like, I comment on Joe's videos. He occasionally comments on mine. It's like, whatever. Um, the fact that you're just like, hey, here's some fucking green cheek and tread stuff. Cool by me. Um, I'm going to have to hit him back with some macros and maybe a couple other surprises at some point. Uh, but this is just so cool. And uh, I'm really, really happy you sent these two beers because this is a lot of fun. And the last couple beers that I have reviewed from his beer mail have been spectacular. So... I don't know what the length of this video is. It's definitely probably, I would say, I'd imagine this is a 20, 25 minute realm, but whatever. I've had a great time doing this and uh, I'm going to go drink both of these and I might, I might just finish up this cuvee and drink them individually to kind of not like taint the beers. But let me tell you, the cuvee is where it's at. So uh, price point availability, this is where I usually do price point availability. And let me tell you, I found the prices. $16 four pack, $20 four pack, all fucking day, every day. And Green Cheek, as far as availability goes, they get, uh, you know, I think some distro out of California, but I do know they have like, what, four locations in uh, California. So, you know, if you can get to one of their locations, check them out. I'm sure they do like online sales. I don't know, but like, they're one of my favorite breweries from California at this point. Like I've had a lot of beers on the channel, courtesy of a lot of cool individuals like the aforementioned, um, did I mention Bud in this review? I may have mentioned Bud, I think with the diesel thing. But Bud, um, Sierra Hotel, who has sent me some crazy beer mails. Joe, uh, I don't know if Jesse ever sent me one, but a lot of California guys have sent me Green Cheek stuff. That's why they've, you know, were on my radar. And um, if I live in California, I'd be seeking their stuff out on a daily basis because they make great stuff. So, yeah, anyway, I apologize for the longer review. But if you are a uh, longtime subscriber or viewer of my channel, you know, I like to go on rants and I just go off tangent and start talking about different stuff when I do comparison reviews. I shouldn't be drinking two beers like this at the same time. But you know what? Fuck it. As I, as I said, like probably like 10 years ago, YOLO, you know, you just got to go for it. So huge thanks to Joe. Go check out his channel. Thanks, everybody. Stop by for another a beer review here on the Beer Patrol. I have one beer left from joe to review it is thumper a big triple west coast uh, ipa from um shred be curious to see how it like kind of competes with this one and again they're not going to be similar beers with hops and stuff but this is a 10.3 triple ipa i think that was like 10 maybe a little bit bigger be curious to see which one i i prefer but four seven four six four seven five it's going to be hard to compete to the next one cheers